Hi guys, Karen here. I had a delivery yesterday that came in not so great. Uh, there was an issue with the climate control in the back of the truck and a lot of my plants got burned. Believe it or not, they got burned. Um, some of these trucks do have heating elements in them to keep the plants warm. Something went wrong. A lot of my plants were burned. But I decided I'm going to turn something bad into something good, and I'm going to give you a little lesson. Um, and the lesson I'm going to give you is with a Monstera. Monsteras are one of the most popular house plants uh, on the market right now. Almost everyone I know has a Monstera in their house. It, it gives you that truly jungle vibe. Um, they're big and beautiful, and they grow like crazy. They're really hard to mess up. So great beginner plant. But if you're not looking to spend a lot of money, a lot of times you can pick one up that needs some rehab. So I figured I would show you the proper way to cut and clean up your Monstera. And this also goes for if you need to prune one that you already have at home. Um, you can't just, like with other plants, you can just cut it straight across and you're good to go. You can't do that with a Monstera. And the reason is, is because one leaf will come out of another leaf. So if you cut too low, you're cutting off all your future leaves uh, and they come out wonky and funky. And so I just wanted to show you on this bad plant who will be a good plant someday um, the proper way to prune your monstera so as you can see it's just lovely isn't it uh, it's very crispy uh, that's how I knew that it was heat damage um, because it is actually crispy leaves I don't know if you can hear that crisp but uh, when a dam when a uh, plant gets cold damage uh, it won't be crispy like that it actually is, it gets like melted uh, and you just pull it off and it's almost like slime. Uh, so that would be the difference between heat and cold damage. Uh, so this one was definitely heat damage. Okay, so on to the plant itself. So I already started kind of pruning this up a little bit, but it actually gives you more of a view. So I'm gonna work on this stalk right here if you can uh, see that part. Um, this one is from the other one. I'm just gonna get him out of the way. Okay, so this stalk right here, can you get down in there, Sue? You can see how that is one continuous stalk coming up, okay? And it turns into two leaves. Both of them are damaged, okay? So that has to go. But if I cut way down at the bottom, I am cutting off all of my future leaves. And this is where I'm talking about how one leaf comes out of the other. So this is the newest leaf. Uh, it hadn't even uncurled or unfurled yet uh, when it had gotten its damage. And this is the old leaf or your exterior leaf. So you can see where the new one is coming out of the stem of the old one. So the old one I'm going to cut first. And that one you just take down as far as you possibly can and just give it a chop. That one is fine because it already had the leaf that came out of its stem. The next one is the new one. And I'm going to get up real close. If you can see that little nub right there, which it looks like you can see it right there that is your newest leaf that's going to come out of this stem here all right so if i cut as low down i am cutting half of that new leaf off i don't want to do that so you're simply going to cut above it right there all right so that leaf is gone and now i have left room for that new leaf to emerge perfectly fine so that's how you prune them on stereo, you guys. I figured this was a great opportunity to just give you some tips on that. Um, some of you may know that already, but I'm sure a lot of you don't. Um, but any of your plants that grow from one leaf from the other, uh, Syngonium is another uh, good example of that, um, where one stem will come out of the older stem. So you have to know where to prune. Um, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, we will see you soon. Have a great day.